Hello guys, do you see this yummy stew? Do you know what it is? This is garden egg stew. I know tomato is expensive now, eh? I don't know it's only my area, but tomato is very, very expensive in my area. This can be an alternative for you. So I'm going to be making garden egg stew. I know it's strange for some of us, and some of us already knows it. But bet me you will like it. You will like to try it. So now I'm using bush meat. That is my grass cutter. So I first of all washed my gaddy egg very well. Then I proceeded to chop off the heads. Then slice them into pieces. Just like four pieces. If you are using big garden egg like mine. You slice this into four pieces. Then put it into your pot. And boil with water. You will also add some salt to taste, then cover and allow it to cook for about 15 minutes. So here now it's been boiling. You can see it's already soft, but not too soft. Then you proceed to pound it with your mortar and pistol. I advise you don't use blender because we don't want it too smooth. It's better it is like this than being too smooth. So use your mortar and pistol to just mash it like this. Then we'll start frying. We'll, we'll go in with red oil. When it's hot, you add your chopped onions. Stir. Then you add your blended tomato. I just use a little tomato, just like about five tomato gave it a stir then allow it to fry so here it has fried i'm going to be adding my dry fish i've already deboned it i added my dry fish then added some stock cubes added my blended pepper i blend red pepper habanero pepper and gave it a stir So here now, this is my bush meat, my grass cutter. You know it's already roasted, so it's half done. So it's almost done. I added it, then added some salt to taste, covered it and allowed it to boil. So here it has cooked. You can see. Then I gave it a stir. Then poured my pounded garden egg the mashed garden egg into it stir it very very well you can see the look it's already coming together see how yummy you can use this to eat rice you can use it to eat white yam white potato plantain boy plantain you can use it for anything it's so so yummy i also added roasted titles then added my blended crayfish added some stock cube because i tasted it and i saw it was remaining so you just to taste and then i kept staring and staring i turned it very well, mixed everything very well you see it's thick it's voluminous like it's big your stew will be big you don't need much tomato again in my area eh, even 5000 tomato cannot cook this kind of amount of stew for me so you see it's very very economical I know that the egg season, we are in the egg season, is very, very affordable. So we allow it to boil. And here it's been boiling. You can see the face is already is ready. Like, try this and you thank me. Like, you love it. My husband was like, ah, what is this? But after he did it, he could like, every time he would tell me to prepare it. <laughs> every time I want to cook stew, you tell me to prepare the egg stew instead. Like, it's so yummy. Try it and you will thank me later. And it's very, very healthy too. You know about garden egg. It's very, very healthy too. You can choose to use any protein you like. So I use my bush meat because that's what is available for me then to use. And it came out really, really well with it. Thanks for watching.